What's good everybody? Sliding through with another quick video. And if this is your first time here, we basically talk about money and things that generate money for you on this channel. So we hit on things like credit cards, credit unions, stocks, crypto, real estate, side hustles, etc. If any of that stuff is what you're into, do me a favor right now, hit the like button, subscribe, share, and pop the notification bell while you're at it. All right, so in this video, I just want to come in with something real quick and talk about two reasons, just two, that your credit score isn't where you want it to be. And it's things that are totally within your control. So the first one is just in proper usage. Uh, a lot of people don't bother to actually take a look at the FICO calculation and see just how you should be using your credit. You may have 100% on-time payment usage, but you have 60% credit utilization and that's going to tank your score every single time. Or you went shopping for that new car and you let the car dealer run your credit seven times. Things like this are, or things like these, I should say, are instances that really make your credit score go down, down, down. Okay, so improper usage. So make sure that you're using the credit properly. Keep an eye on inquiries, low utilization, on-time payment history, of course, don't close old accounts because you need that length of credit history. All those are factors. Okay, so the other thing is just inaccurate data. Remember, credit reports are input by people, data entry, just regular old data entry. And if there are inaccuracies in your report having to do with your name, date of birth, addresses, all of this type of stuff could lead to you being assigned someone else's debt or someone else's delinquent account because the similarity, like you having one number off your date of birth made you actually get someone else's stuff that you don't want. So make sure that you're checking on your credit reports to make sure that all of your personal data is correct. This is something people overlook a lot, personal data. So your name, your date of birth, your addresses, all of your personal data is good. Make sure everything is correct there and get better with your usage of your credit. Make sure you're using it in a way that's beneficial to you. All right, so hey, that's all I got for this video. Do me a favor, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share again. And I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, I'm out. Peace, see ya.